Angela from the blog AngelaMarieMead.com. Welcome back to my channel. I'm excited to share today how we built our DIY bookshelf. In our living room, we really needed a bookshelf for all of our son's toys that we're accumulating. We built this three shelf bookcase as the perfect solution for the toys, but it would really work great as storage or organization for any kind of items that you have in your home. I designed this bookshelf to be made with just one sheet of half inch thick plywood to save both money and material. And I also designed it so that the top and middle shelves can be adjusted if you want to have different heights for the shelves. Begin by gathering all of your materials. You can get a full material list, cut list, tutorial, and printable build plans on my blog, which is linked below this video. For lumber, you're going to need two by twos, one by twos, a one by three, and a four foot by eight foot sheet of plywood that's a half inch thick. You're also going to need a 16 inch by four foot edge glued panel for the top of the bookshelf. All right, let's get started. Step one is to make the initial lumber cuts. Use a miter saw to make the two by two, one by two, and one by three cuts for the bookshelf legs and trim. Again, you can get the full cut list on my blog. Use a table saw or circular saw and straight edge guide to make the plywood cuts and top panel board cut. You will need plywood for the bookshelf sides, the three shelves, and the backboard. Note, we initially cut our plywood the wrong way before we finalized all of our cuts, so we had to laminate our backboard together with wood glue. So that's why our backing board isn't one full piece like it should be per the build plans. Step two is to add pocket holes to the boards. Use a Craig jig and add pocket holes on all sides of the plywood side boards and on just three of the sides of the bottom shelf. For the top and middle shelves, add pocket holes along one of the long edges. Make sure the Craig jig is set for half inch thick wood when drilling through the half inch plywood. Then add pocket holes on both sides of the one by two top trim board and the one by three side trim boards. For the one by two side trim boards, drill pocket holes on the sides and along one long edge as shown here. Make sure the Craig jig is set for three quarter inch thick wood. Step three is to assemble the side frames of the bookshelf. Attach one plywood side frame piece together with a one by three board on the bottom of it. Make sure that the back of the plywood is flush with the back of the one by three. We use quarter inch scrap wood to help with this part. Use one inch Craig screws and wood glue to attach the boards together. Our Craig clamp also helped with this step. Next, attach the 1x2 side trim board on the other side the same way as the 1x3. Make sure that the pocket holes along the long edge of the 1x2 are facing upwards since these holes will be used to attach the top board. The next step is to attach the two 2x2 two two bookshelf legs on each side with the 2x2s two aligned with the top of the 1x2. Use 1 inch Craig screws for attaching the plywood into the 2x2s two and then 1 and a quarter inch Craig screws for attaching the 1x2 and 1x3. After the two legs have been attached to the side frame, it's time to add the one by two shelf supports. We measured and marked seven inches and then 20 and three quarters of an inch for our top and middle shelf supports. The 
bottom shelf support should be lined up with the top of the 1x3. Attach the shelf supports with wood glue and 1 inch wood screws. You can place these 1x2 shelf supports wherever you want your shelves to go and you could add more if you want multiple height options. Mine are placed so that there will be one 7 inch space for the top shelf and two 13 inch spaced shelves for the lower two. Repeat this process to create a second side frame piece. Step four is to attach the back of the bookshelf to the sides. Place quarter inch scrap wood under the plywood backing board sides. This is to help the one inch Craig screws go into the two by twos more securely. Place one side frame perpendicular to the plywood backboard with the plywood aligned with the top of the side frame. Clamp in place and attach the two together with wood glue and one inch Craig screws. Repeat for the other side frame on the other side of the backboard. We found our 48 inch clamps worked the best for this step. Step five is to attach the bottom shelf and trim. Line the bottom shelf up with the top of the one by threes on the sides. Make sure the pocket holes along the long edge are facing the underneath side towards the back. Attach the bottom shelf with Craig screws into the sides and backboard. Again, our long clamps really helped with this step. Trim out the bottom shelf with a one by three using wood glue and one and a quarter inch brad nails and a brad nailer. Step six is to add the top one by two trim and support board. Turn the bookshelf so it's facing down. Add the one by two top trim board with wood glue and one and a quarter inch Craig screws. Also, make sure it's a quarter inch inset by using quarter inch scrap wood again under the one by two while attaching it. Step seven is to install the top of the bookshelf. Clamp the top edge glued panel board to the bookshelf. Make sure there is a one inch overhang on the front and the sides but no overhang on the back. Attach it with one and a quarter inch Craig screws through the pocket holes in the one by two side trim boards. Step eight is to assemble the top and middle bookshelves. Create the top and middle bookshelves by attaching a one by two to the plywood boards with wood glue and Craig screws along one edge. Mark about a half inch down on the front and back of each one by two shelf support. Then drill holes for your shelf support hardware pegs. Make sure the shelf support hardware pegs fit well in the holes. Finally, add your top and middle shelves on top of the shelf support hardware to complete the build of your DIY bookshelf. The last step is to fill holes and paint or stain. Fill all nail holes in with spackle of painting or stainable wood filler if staining. You can also fill your pocket holes in as well if you prefer. If painting, prime the bookshelf and then add your paint. We use two coats of Anchors Away by Sherwin-Williams in Eggshell. It's the same color we used in our DIY toy box and I love it. I love how our DIY bookshelf turned out and that it's both functional and pretty for our toy storage needs. Let me know if you have any questions about this build in the comments below or you can ask over in our Woodworking for the Home Facebook group at facebook.com slash group slash woodworking for the home. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel for more fun DIY and home decor videos. Thanks again for stopping by.